Hi folks, this is The Carla Show. This is my second episode. I hope you enjoy it. Now today we have a, a nice guest by the name of Paul Pineboard. Come on in, Paul. Oh, oh dear, yes. Wonderful. Come on in, Paul. Have a seat, dear. I have some wine here for you. Okay. Yes, everybody, this is uh, my friend, Paul Pineboard. Now, hey, Carla, what's up? Not too, not too much. Just doing the show here. It's wonderful. And uh, so I, the show received your email and they showed it to me. And you're having some women troubles. So let's hear about that. Let's hear about your troubles. Can't meet a lady. Can't meet a lady. Can't meet a lady. Oh, I see. I'm a good guy. You know, good, I'd be okay. faithful. You know, I'm a good family man. You know, I, I, okay. I got a job. You know, I've had the job for over 30 years while working produce there just put me a produce manager down there the grocery oh could you work dear wonderful oh but uh, no matter what i try i not try it's so hard like every time a pretty lady comes into the store i try to talk to her and you know what i do first though i'm not i'm not all disrespectful you know like i just you know i'll, I'll, I'll look at her you know, and you know i'll look at her so long enough that she know that i'm looking at her you know so i want her to notice that i'm noticing her you know like this okay. like this here yes well, that looks kind of creepy, dear. You can't look at women that way. Because it's, it's your eyeballing them. It's not a compliment? No, it isn't. No. You're eyeballing them. You know? All right. Well, the other thing I did there, um, some of my buddies there, they told me, you know, I'm real lucky because I worked in a grocery store because a grocery store is, about, you know, that's the best place to bag a babe. Well, no. And you shouldn't be talking like that either. And, uh, you know, one day there there was a there was a babe there and she was over looking at I don't know, ribs, chicken wings, some kind of thing before the Super Bowl and I, I sidled up to her and I said, Yeah, you better get you some of those because the big game's coming up. Well she didn't seem to take it too good. Um, another time, you know, there was corn. We had corn on sale, an overabundance of corn, so we had a ten ten cents an ear. And so I sidled up to her and I said, Mm, mm, something real good. Well, no, that's disgusting. You can't talk to a woman like that. Well, anyway, listen, they she, hate that. She pointed us at the corner and said, no, nah, that too. No. No, see, they don't like that, Paul. They hate that. Believe me. Well, how do I let a lady know that I'm interested and not think she hot? Well, you, you have to be respectful. And the grocery store is not a good place anyway. Especially if you work there, Paul. Think about it. Well, I don't understand. Did I say the Dear. Well, well, why? Because you're working and it's inappropriate. What, 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 why do they say it's a great place to meet women? When you, you well, those in, are the wrong types of men that are, okay. tell, Carly, that, that are telling you that. You get groceries, right? Of course. Do you want to be picked up in the grocery store? You like, you like... No, I do not. Well, what are you doing there? I'm getting groceries, dear, not looking for to be picked up. Now, come on, think about it. Another time... You have to respect women. Another time I went in a grocery store, I was out down the post office. Met a girl. Real cute. Oh, oh, oh. I'm talking like, you know what I'm saying? 36, 20. No, so you can't do that with your hand. With your hands, you can't do that. Fine! No, Paul, you can't do that with your hands. That's wrong. That's disrespectful. I'm giving a description. That's all I'm doing. That's not the way. And I says to her, I says, I'm surprised your husband let you out looking as pretty as you do. By no, that doesn't sound right. What? If she was my wife, I wouldn't let her out. Because she's not a pet or a slave. That's what you make her sound like. That's not what I mean, though. I mean, if But that's what wife, it sounds like. If it was my now, wife. Now, women take it that way, though. Like you. You're a fine-looking woman. Well, right? thank you. If you were my wife, I wouldn't let you go nowhere by yourself. What do you mean? I, I wouldn't be your slave. Would I? Well, you need me to protect you from all those men out there that are going to look No, at I you. wouldn't. No. I There's laws and police and... And whatever, and I, I would have rights, and I would be okay by myself. A woman is not, not, a, not a thing to be kept at home. Right? This is not the 50s. Right? This is a modern world, and women deserve respect. Well, now you got me... Not all women want to stay home barefoot and pregnant. Okay? 
This isn't the 50s. What does they do, though? Well, if women want that, that's fine for them. That's their business. Now, you got me thinking, though. You got me thinking. So, from what you're saying, maybe I might be wrong. Why not? I can't be wrong. The boys tell me it's right, though. Then they're the wrong boys for no, friends. They're not friends. The boys. They won't help you. I bought a new truck there three or four years ago. Okay. So, maybe the boys are wrong, so, you know. I'll roll by sometimes, beat my horn at a pretty lady. They don't seem to like that. Oh, no, don't do that. That's and I, horrible. You know, I drove, I, I pulled oh, up no, and asked they hate that. For, you know, she want to ride? Oh, they hate that. It's because they take it as, as disrespectful. Number one, it will startle a person when they're honked at, when they're walking. And it's just disrespectful. Okay, so what do I do? Don't do that. How do I get a nice lady? You have to use manners and respect. That's the only way. You know? How do you want to be treated? You want to be treated like a person, not an animal. So there you go. Just remember that. Yeah, Carla, you're right. Yeah, you're right. see? Now there we go. Maybe I can clean up my act a little bit. Okay, yes. Yeah, that would be nice. You know, w women appreciate that when a man, you know, puts on a decent outfit, you know, cleans himself up. Right? And you'll feel better about yourself, won't you? So what do I say to, if I see a pretty lady coming to work? What do I say? Well, you shouldn't do it when you're working. You'll have to do you'll have to do it outside of work. Okay? Because it's not appropriate. Your employer won't like it, and the women won't like it. Okay? Yeah. There so you go. So if I meet a lady and I see her somewhere else, or that, like I think she's real cute. What do I, what do I, what do I say? Well, you. And you know like, what line? You got some lines? Well, you wait for the mating signal. Is what you do basically. I don't understand. Well, you can tell if a woman is interested, usually in you. You usually, uh, a woman will will send a sign to a man. But you, you mean know? wait for her to look at me? Yes. But like, nobody looks at me. A gesture, or she'll look at you a certain way. But nobody looks at me. You know, one time, brother Carl was in Montreal when he first moved there, sitting in a cafe with his 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 wonder uh, with wonderful Misty, <clears throat> and. Uh, a, a beautiful French lady walked by outside of the cafe, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> and she actually smiled at Carl as he was sitting in the cafe. That's one of the one of the signals, you see. I see you painted a lot of pretty ladies here. Oh, not me. That's Brother Carl. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yes. Isn't he wonderful? Isn't he great? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. She's pretty hot, right? Well, see, that's what you don't say. You say, oh, that's a lovely lady, you know. Like that. See, that's a lovely lady. That's Greta, Th that's Greta Thunberg. See? Some people say Thunberg. It's not. It's, it's Greta Thunberg. And right here. Showing, oh, that's that environmental little girl. Yes, that wonderful girl. She's so tough and resilient. So he painted, he painted his representation of her. And these are for sale. So, yeah. Yeah, I saw how that Alberta company said some mean stuff. Oh, wasn't that, that awful? Or that was, that oh, was I saw someone. That's what you're telling me, isn't it? That's exactly right. Yes, thank you. Yes, right. I didn't. I didn't right. think to. Right, right, right. I didn't think of yeah. that tonight. Yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. See. Okay. See. Yeah, see. You, you caught on. I got you. All right. <clears throat> it's so simple. So can I say something then? Okay. Certainly. So uh, I'm Paul Pineboard. I'm almost fifty-one. I'm a grocery manager. I'm a nice guy. I'm very thrifty. I have my own basement apartment. I'm a good, decent man, a faithful man. So, you know, get in touch with Carla if you, you know, like a man like that. Like, I like, I like board games. I like making mixed tapes. Oh, dear, you're, you're breaking Carla's heart. Oh. No, I don't buy tapes. I borrow tapes off to friends, see. Oh. Because, you know, I'm not paying full price, I, you know. So if you like to not pay full price, oh, I'm your man. You're, you're breaking my heart with your honesty and your integrity. Got to be thrifty. Gotta oh. be thrifty. Okay, thank you, Paul, very much. Thank uh, you for coming. Thank you. You're welcome. And yeah, I've learned a lot, Carla. I may have you again on someday. Are you still single, dear? I am still single. Yeah, I'm so picky. Carla, you know, I'm religious. I'm particular. I, I It's okay, yes, but... I am, but I. All right. Well, nice to see you. Oh, oh, thank you, Paul. Oh, yes. Good on okay, you. Okay, folks. Thanks for joining me on the Carla Show, and have a wonderful, wonderful night, dear. What's the number of the Carla Show, there? Oh.
Oh, uh, let me see. 1-800-GO-CARLO, wasn't that it? I, yes, that's it, dear. Yes, thank you. So, you know, if you want to date with me, Paul, 1-800-GO-CARLO. Give me a try. I'm a nice guy. Oh, I think you'll, I think dude. you'll, I think you'll luck out, Paul. Yes, oh. I got a two-for-one coupon for KFC. Oh, wonderful. Peace. Oh, folks. Love is the most important thing. Bye, guys. Oh, I love you.